guy goes out there at a Catholic university and preaches Catholic faith and how they operate in their church and their household. And now he's being villainized. He's being fucking castrated and ostracized. They're trying to get rid of this motherfucker. It's I ironic. One, huh? I think the one thing that we, we, we find here that he did that I think really bothering people is they believe he attacked women as a whole. And I think that's the plus throw, look, I think if Taylor Swift's not connected to Travis Kelsey, I don't think this is as big a story. I just don't. I, I think I a lot the of the people thing. pushing this shit are fans. Yeah, you know, they don't they don't like it. I said the same thing. Here's Travis at Cincinnati. Now, public institution, downs a beer on stage. Yeah, what about all the alcoholics that are affected? That's not that. Yeah, well, well, alcoholism, uh, it's, it's way worse than marijuana. I, I, but nobody wants to talk about that. Boom. But, but I heard someone okay. with that, that throw there. I mean, yeah, why don't we're not suing him? Like Gronk got sued on Netflix for breaking the shot glass. Like, it's, it's, it's the stupidest shit, Jeff. Like, I'm so tired of just the dumb, what, is, what do I want to say, minute? Like, it's so minute in, in a world that we are in right now that's so fucked up with so many other fucking issues. We pick and choose, and we're going to go after the fucking kicker of all people after your own player, Rashi Rice, just did fucking criminal acts. Not only criminal acts. This guy, Rashi Rice, did something that really was gutless and heartless. Couldn't give, couldn't give a fuck less about the humans that were in the car affected. This dude is actually telling you why he believes why he believes and what his household does and his faith believes. And also remember, they're as you said yesterday, this is the same fan base that every week supported, put Tyree Kill on a pedestal. Tyree Kill, let, let's remember what he's done in his career, okay? He beat up his pregnant girlfriend, okay? He allegedly broke his own son's arm, okay? His son just shows up with a broken arm. And number three, this is also really bad. It's not criminally bad, but the guy has how many kids? Ten he just kids? had his 10th. Didn't he have his 10th yesterday? Yeah. I, I, again, oh, no, no, like, another, another woman's pregnant. From an ethical standpoint, from a criminal standpoint, Tyree Kill is everything you do not want to be. <laughs> Four kids this year. Uh, He's 30 years old. <laughs> five baby mamas. Five baby mamas. By the way, he does like a lot of the same women I do. Shout out to him on his women choice. I like his choice of women, but that's the only thing he's done right. He's done everything bad ethically, criminally. He's a bad guy. I, I want to know he, how, how I want to know this. How you have four kids in one year, but now your actual wife. Is pregnant now. Make That's that make sense. Seed, man. Make that make sense though, real quick. I want to make sure we're clear. So my actual wife this year is pregnant, but I've already had four kids with four actual humans the same year. Well, I want to be what, clear. I think what he probably does is so when he has a wife, he says to her, "Listen, I'm going to have several gumadas that I'm going to be smashing on the side. I'll make sure you're good." And all these girls are so weak. They're like, well, as long as I get paid, I don't care. Who are they going to tell? Oh, you can't do that? Well, then fuck you. I ain't giving you shit. Fuck off. All these girls are weak, and they're just doing this for paydays. That's why they're doing it. Because, look, I mean, you're really flossing his jersey. You're really flossing that you had his kid, but so are five other broads. Yeah, you ain't nothing special. You're the ninth one to do this. You're the fourth this year. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Dog? You know, these like, women, I feel bad for these women right here. Look at them women. Like, they're so, like, as you just said, you're not special. This dude's doing what he wants with you, and he's just going to pay you to shut up. That's what you want out of your life? This is all you, and then I, we're going to, but we're going to prosecute the guy in public opinion that pushes against this. Marry, have a kid with a husband. Continue the ideals. All those kids you just showed, I mean, they're going to have a volatile life their whole life. He don't give a shit about them. He's just going to do the next one. Yeah, I don't mean? know if you saw. I, I just I just texted Bailey. I don't know if you saw the Shannon Sharp interview with uh, Kale. Have you seen this? No. 
So apparently, <clears throat> a buddy of mine sent it to me the other day, and I was he broke down his his wife, Kale's wife, was pregnant, got pregnant by two other dudes during their marriage. <laughs> like, dog, I'm telling you, it's a wild, wild west out here from everything from transfer portal and NIL to baby mamas getting pregnant. And I'm just telling you, we are in a fucking wild, wild well, coach, west. Coach, let me ask you. If if we put Harrison Bucker and what he said and, and does, and then we put what Tyree Kill does, if you have a child, what life would you more want them to have? But they're both football players. Both make a bunch of money. One pushes that, I want a nuclear family. I have one wife. I have kids. The other one is someone who has committed really bad crimes. I mean, is it a question even? No, it's not a question. Here's the here's the why it's a question, though. Because the people that are attacking me on Instagram, and they go right to, oh, JB, you're a Trumper. You're racist. <laughs> and, and all the real ones out there are like, you fucking idiot. These are brothers telling other brothers, like, you don't know, JB. You're a fucking clown. So even I if see you were a Instagram. Trumper, what would that matter? No, it doesn't matter. It it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I'm not a Trumper, but it doesn't matter. Here's the thing about it, though. Like, here's what's crazy. These are the people that are absolute dead fucking beats. That is why they're attacking me and coming out there after me or whoever goes against their comfort zone or narrative. These are dead beats. These are the fucking humans that condone this type of shit. Karis and Buckner went against the grain of the of the fucking nobodies. So so when he said, I want my son and family to be raised a certain way, so I'm not worried about them out here doing stupid shit when they get older, it goes against the narrative of all these deadbeat fucks out here who can care less about their own kids or have four and five baby mamas. They don't give a fuck. That is the guys attacking me and everybody else. So Because somebody wants, this is the era we're in, Jeff, social media era, where these motherfuckers are scared to tell the truth. And when the truth hits you, guess who it hurts? All the fake, deadbeat, deadbeat nobodies. And 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 it's funny you say that, because Martez Graham and King David Cartel, remember who you were supporting? A man who beats up his pregnant girlfriend. That's the hill you want to die on. You too? Go ahead. But I'll support the guy that doesn't do that. You know? Fuck yeah. out of here. Uh, you want, let me let me ask you, Martez. You want your you want your daughter to grow up? Have and I don't know if you have one. You want your daughter to grow up and uh, you know be with a guy like that that has six different mothers alongside her. You want that for her? They do. What a shame. Take a listen to That's this. Fucking idiot. In context, telling me that the baby that was aborted wasn't mine. Uh, oh, you man. are immediately married within a lie already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the so the yeah. marriage was never the same after that, was it? No, it was. Uh, this is this is at the beginning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's right at the beginning, and so within that process, she probably should have kept that to herself. <laughs> and well, you know, uh, I'm glad she didn't. And so within that process, with that being known, it was just like, yo, with even in being, you know, the pregnancy, uh, she almost died within the pregnancy. So that was a hard time too. Right. It was a lot. You know, it was other times uh, she had gotten pregnant, other yeah. things, and. Cheating ex-wife, getting pregnant by multiple men. Like, that's the context here. It just got to a point. She ain't gotten pregnant again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why y'all together? Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't you? Not with me. Ah, come on, (laughs) Cal. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And you stuck around? Yeah, I stuck around. I stuck around. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. That. Yikes. To me, that's crazy to me. Um, I can't do it. Um, I want to know if all the women out there are praising that man for sticking next to that woman, though, or are you beating him down? See, I, I, I it's so hypocritical from what I hear these people say out here, like oh, both men, man. both men and women. I hear I hear like so many different things. So some women will say, you're a simp. I would never fuck with you. You got played, blah, blah, blah. And then the other women, if he would have left, would have been like, oh, you know, it was your wife. Who, what? Like, which one is it? Uh, I'm glad Leah came in here and said he has no self-worth. Uh, that's a take that you could have. Uh, or you can call him a simp. 
Uh, if it was a man, we'd probably be saying you a buster, a simp, a sucker. Which one is it, Jeff? I don't know. Well, it's free game Friday. Listen, it's it's ironic. It's crazy. I, I think it's hard to when, when you're when you're with a woman and, and she's getting pregnant by multiple other people. She's making it abundantly clear she doesn't want to be with you. No normal woman that loves you would do that. And I guess for him, he just has something he can't let go. Uh, look, I'm not going to call him anything. It's what he wanted. I don't know that I, w- I would have done it, but I think I, ha- I, have, I have heard rumors out there that the wife has come out on shows and has and, and has came out and said like he's gay. We found him with the dude. That's why he didn't want to leave me. That's why I got be, pregnant. Ah, it's crazy. I, who could knows? Be, there could be skeletons in his closet that she knows that. I'm gonna tell you right now. Listening to him on Shannon right there, he look. I can see a little sugar in the tank. I, I heard that motherfucker the way his legs are crossed and shit. <laughs> Let's read Tyler's comment. Tyler showing major love in the chat, Coach. Oh my bad. Uh, I don't have the chat up sometimes when I'm doing this. Tyler uh, Riddell, my yeah. boy right there. Tyler's a hell of a dude. Appreciate you, Tyler. Shout out to you. Man, y'all are preaching. Buckner should be commended for the speech, but Swifties and hardcore liberals find reasons to be mad at a God-fearing man instead of a deadbeat like Tyreek Hill and defending Aaron Hernandez. Really show on planet Earth. Shout out to you. Listen, disagreements are always going to occur. I, we don't care. But I, I wish that disagreements would create great conversations in every aspect in life political i don't care if you're right or left blue or red it doesn't though now if you're going this way you're a trumper and a racist if you're going this way you're lgbtq and uh, uh a democrat listen i'm as straight down the line as you could fucking possibly be jeff's pretty much the same so is matt so is sean king so is steve kim like it's ironic that everybody on this show eric weddle are we could be right leaning uh, because we're more of a conservative thinker because we don't believe in a lot of this weirdo shit that's going on, but we're really kind of independent thinkers. How ironic is the whole cast yeah, of characters on this but, show? But there's a bunch of people that are not like that. In fact, most people are not like that. We're not status quo, okay? I've said before, I'll say it again. Both sides don't give a fuck about you, right? The sooner you realize that, I have certain things on the right that I agree with, there are certain things slightly on the left I agree with. But at the end of the day, I couldn't give a fuck what some, I mean, what would that matter to me? We care yeah. too much about what everybody else is doing. Yeah. I, listen, it doesn't really fucking matter to me. And, and and listen, Smitty's young. Smitty's 30 years old. And guess what? He still don't know what he is. See, that's what y'all don't get. You You don't understand. I'm 48. And just so you understand, when I was young growing up in a family with my father telling me the rights and the wrongs, understand something. Politics was not like they are today. Democrats were broke people. We were actually more of the conservative thing. When I was in the, growing up in the 80s, dog, I was actually, conservatives were actually Democrats who were actually middle class, grinders, drug through the mud, the, the, like the core of the country. Now, you're talking about Democrats being a completely different ball. Like, it's a whole nother world. These aren't the Democrats that I grew up being. No. I grew up a Democrat, bro. My dad was broke. We were classified Democrat because we were fucking broke. That is what it was in the 70s and 80s. Nowadays, the Democrats are the rich, weirdo, bougie fucks. I'm telling you, the shit has changed. Y'all just don't want to agree to it or believe it, but it has changed. I mean, look, look. I mean, Coach, re- read this one comment. Martez Graham, Tyreek can afford to have all the babies he wants. Are you this stupid, Martez? Yeah, Serious? he is. He I is. mean, Martez, you realize how this works, right? You pay if you make more money. They, they judge on how much money you make. Times that by 10. What, why are you trying to, like, make this a normal thing? This, this ain't normal, dude. Idiot. By the way, Martez, we're going to put you out here on blast. You don't have a profile picture. You're always the people hiding. The ones that come out and defend dumb shit is what why is he you even are talking about. Here, he's a nobody. Martez is a nobody. And let me break down why he's a nobody. Because he has no clue. He's probably 21 years old who has a fucking clue. He's in here because he watched Last Chance You and jacks off to my videos. 
And let me be, let me be honest. Let me be clear here what we, we're talking about, a guy like this. And this is what, un, unfortunately, this is what riddles America. I got a buddy who has 16 kids by 16 baby mamas. He played in the NFL. He got hurt. And do you know that he has to move and 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 so very carefully because he'll never make a penny in his life towards savings or towards having a life of his own because he will be paying 16 kids as baby mamas times 18 years. Yep. And each one of those kids are born different years, by the way. So, but I don't know. Maybe when he's 65, all the kids will be fucking. And, and the most important thing is when it concerns money, yeah, it's a lot of money he's going to have to spend. How the fuck are you going to be a, ch- a father to 10 children that don't live with you? You don't know where the fuck they are. I mean, it just doesn't even make sense. And listen, what, what person would want that for their life? And, and Martez, listen, what are you talking about, bro? He, he doesn't know. And this is the crazy thing. You sound like a fool. The, the problem is the truth is the truth, regardless of who it is coming from or towards who it's towards. This is my homeboy I grew up with and love him to death, but he's a fucking idiot. And he's known I've told him this. You telling me you can't pull out, motherfucker, or put on a Jimmy or not fucking fuck with 16 broads? 16 kids by 16 broads. Now, you tell me that that's not a fucking degenerate gambler. And they all look the same. Like they, All those girls look the same. I and I, I'm talking about my friend who I've told this to. 16 by 16. Yeah. Tyreek has 10 by 5. And remember, too, like P.J. Washington pays his baby mama 200000 a month, supposedly. No, oh, that's month. nothing. Look at Sean Kemp. Look at fucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jawan Howard. Look at all these fucking dudes that had a ton of kids, bro, that are they're done for life. They go into their, their mediation again 20 years later trying to restructure their monthly fucking child support payments. Because they're three, four hundred grand a month, and they're not in the NBA no more, Jeff. They're not making two hundred million no. either. They. And I tell you what, Tyreek Hill makes a bunch of money now, thirty million a year. How much is that after taxes? Let's say seventeen, eighteen. Throw in the fact that he has a bunch of other shit he's got to pay for, and it ain't just one, two, five, seven, or eight kids. It's ten. Ten uh, kids. I, I'm just Why? I'm just telling you, man, uh, that's going to go by so fucking quick. And by the way, not one of those broads, regardless if they've told you, Tyreek Hill, those five broads have told you, oh, don't worry. We're not doing nothing. We're not coming after you. You're out of your fucking mind. Wait 10 years or In so. 10 years, when those kids are 10 and that broad has a new man and that man is also an NBA player now and then he has a kid with her and then he gets hurt. You better hit Tyreek Hill, motherfucker. We're broke. And dog, I've seen it. I know how it works. You fucking idiots. You think that this broad is not going to stay in the limelight and go fuck with an NBA or an NFL other guy? This is what she knows now. The money's already hit her bank. She knows nothing but big money. She got taken out the hood, and now she eats crab and lobster, homie. She's not going back to Fat Burger, contrary to your fucking belief. So get used to this is what the deal is. This is what happens now. Now she's going to chase that bread for eternity. So it is what it is. You motherfuckers think you know. But remember, again, the moral of the story is we're not going to persecute that guy. We're going to persecute the guy that's trying to push having a father for kids, you know, a a nuclear family. We're going to belittle him, though. That's the moral of this story. That, that, yeah, 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 you know. yeah, 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 yeah. That, and, and you're going to have fucking idiots out here defending him. That's what's crazy a part about it. Uh, oh, yeah. Mar- like this Martez. By the way, Martez, you know why your name is Martez? Because you don't know your daddy, motherfucker. Your daddy was a mixture between Marquez and last name Martinez. Motherfucker, you don't know your last name or your first name because you don't know your goddamn daddy. Motherfucker. Complete. 